Okay, so let's make a deterministic finite automaton for this language, which is the set of all binary strings w, such that w begins with a 1 and ends with a 0. So how would we approach a problem like this? Well, we should focus on the strings that are in the language and not focus on strings that are not in the language. So notice that it says begins with a 1. So that means that if we're going to start making a DFA for this thing, we got to have the outgoing transition start with a 1, because if it starts with a 0, that breaks the condition of the language, and therefore we would have to go to a dead state, because we can never accept at that point. So if we have a 1 right here, which starts off the string, we need to satisfy the ends with 0 part of the definition, because we have an and in between. So at some point, we got to have some transition that eventually, as some later time goes to some final state and has a zero. So notice that I'm not trying to depict this with a single final state with no transitions leaving it. This is just the idea that the last transition we want to be going to a final state. Notice that once we start with one, we have to end with zero and that zero could be immediately after or it could be someplace after. So if we have some state in the middle, and then that just goes to a final state on zero, then that is something that we would want to have. So then now we need to focus on where the ones transitions and actually the zero and one transitions on this state go. So if we have a one in this state, that still doesn't satisfy this criterion of this language. And so we still are at the same place we were at before, and so we should self-loop on a one here. But then from this state, if we read a zero, that's still the last zero that we've ever seen, and so we should be accepting at this point. And no matter how many zeros we see, it still ends with a zero, so therefore we need to stay in this state. But if we see a one at this point, that screwed up the fact that the last thing we saw was a zero, and so we would need to see yet another zero before we can actually accept the whole thing. So we need this one to eventually come back to this state because at that point we can see one zero, one more zero, and then if that's the last thing, we will accept at that point. So this is a deterministic finite automaton for the language of all binary strings that begin with a one and end with a zero.